Cobra Kai is back where it belongs. Back on top. But the real story's only just begun. I thought you were dead. Cobra Kai never dies. I think we both feel uh, felt that you know we knew the audience was out there, but you need they're also a savvy and smart audience. So it was how to do it in that way, how to make it nostalgic and and pay homage to to the respect of what the film was and yet make it fresh and relevant for today and that's what you know our creators of the show do and and that we all collaborate on so it's and it's bringing young audience into the show it's not just oh if you like this movie watch this show it's uh, yeah if you like the movie watch the show but if even if you don't the stories are really compelling uh with within our characters and and also the young cast on, on the show as well We meet a lot of kids these days that are, you know, in the situation of school where they're being bullied or they're, they feel like they could be a character in Cobra Kai and they want to be built up and they're finding some kind of refuge in these characters as senseis, right or wrong, how they're teaching them, you know. In my case, I'm teaching Cobra Kai, which may or, not, may, or may not be the, uh, the right way, and uh, we'll see. Yeah, and it just, it also connects um, on those same themes that the Karate Kid uh, uh, connected on, like Billy mentioned with, with bullying, uh, mentorship, parenthood. Find the uh, navigating adolescence. Um, so all those themes are relevant to every generation. So it keeps the story, the storytelling fresh. Well, we did the Karate Kid. We had much more time. We had th you know hours a day, three months before we shot our final fight. So we had plenty of prep time. On this show, it comes real fast. So we have sometimes a day, two days, some days on the spot. There's one fight I had in this season where it was literally like we did the scene, and then now here's this big fight, and you got to go do it. And here's how it works, and here are the stunt guys doing it. So sometimes it's this fast. So we have to stay super, super limber and, and ready to go at all times. And uh, try not to get injured. The kids carry most of the weight this time on the uh, on the big fights. Yeah, thing. thank you. So thank th you, kids. We'll, They're awesome. Yeah. They're all, the young cast has a ton of uh, action sequences, really exciting stuff, phenomenally shot, and and, uh, and but all rooted in their characters. That's what makes it great. You care when you care about the characters. Fight scene is just a fight scene, unless you're caring about the characters. It was different back then, way mm -hmm. different back then. Now with the social Much media and now. everything's in real time, yeah. You, you know, you could walk down the street and not, you know, now everybody knows where you are right now, right this second, we pull up at this building and they know where we are. So it's yeah, different. That, it would be tough a, to be a kid today yeah. becoming famous, I think, you know. I think we got eased there's into no, it. Yeah, there's no buffer time to, uh, to correct anything, um, you know. So I, I think it would be tougher. Not at all, not a thing. They don't want to know anything we have to say. They, they run as far in the opposite direction. They, no, <laughs> we're I, learning from them. Yeah, we are learning from them. And you know why? Because they're, they're really great kids and they do, not, they do not have that sense of entitlement that is so accused of you know, today's generation. Um, they really, um, across the board, it feels like they do not take it for granted. They feel that they are the lucky ones to be involved in the show and they want to do well by uh, the franchise by what we were all able, lucky enough to uh, be part of back in the 80s. Um, the, it's great. It's great to see that. That I do. <laughs> yes, yes. Like, yeah. how does this reach? Should I do it? Should this be a story? Should it be a post? What's a what hash brown? What defines a Tory a hash brown? What's a hash brown? Yeah, right. Yeah. That's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a little tidbit for episode yeah. 203. Right, right. Really funny moment. Two different worldviews. I think so. There's a great episode in, in last season and this season too, but last season was called Different But Same. It was episode nine when, when Daniel and Johnny are listening to REO Speedwagon in the car. And you, you see them for the first time sitting side by side, and they have a lot more in common than you would think. But they've both been downloaded their worldviews from their sensei. So you have Miyagi on Daniel and Kreese on Johnny, and then there's a girl in the middle of that. So, um, you know, I think. Uh, 
There's definitely room, but there's there's a lot of obstacles, so it's kind of a little bit Yeah, it's not going to be, there's something oil and water about these guys, but there's something awesome salad dressing at the same time, and I, I enjoy both. We really enjoy, you know, and these carriages, they'll have a couple of drinks, and all of a sudden you realize, because we, the audience, are sitting there and saying, if they could just see through, they're not that far off. These guys will be good friends, and, and the fun thing is it's entertaining to play, and I think it's entertaining to watch. So uh, as much as it's entertaining to watch them in each other's face pushing each other's buttons. So I believe there's both places to go. I'm sure we will, you know, our goal is to keep this going as long as we can. So it could go in and out of, uh, of uh, common ground and then in an instant the hammer drops yeah. and it's yeah. back it's, in the corners. A, it's a minefield. I mean, it's, it's like, it, it looks like, you know, it looks like this beautiful beach, but it's just, there's booby traps everywhere. You That's know, great. we can't take a walk on the beach. Something's going to go up. You want to finish this? Bring it on.